in right. her way that if you don't speak up like maybe they would speak up but pro trump i mean god forbid right then she'd be complaining uh, at the same time we know that when things have gotten political like when the obamas or michelle obama would appear on the oscars and all of that going on with that the ratings go down americans overall reject it because we want an escape right we do want to break and that's the job of performers is to give us something to entertain ourselves not to give us some angst or of course there's a responsibility because they do influence culture do you think that there should well, be a balance i think that well i think that con the country music as an industry knows its audience right this like for example why do i play country music on the five Greg? why do you because i know my audience <laughs> um also J joy says that democracy is at risk uh, the Democrats just picked up almost 40 seats in the House. They did very well in the upper Midwest. They took governorships that we didn't expect. There's not a single, there's one Republican left in New England. So <laughs> literally, the democracy is Orange not County. at risk. Democracy is actually working. I didn't get to watch the CMAs. I usually watch every year. I was on a flight. I do know one thing, that Dirk Bentley got robbed. Ooh. <laughs> you know, and at, while, <laughs> while they know their audience, they still didn't want to make it political. And while there was no blue wave, they did, they did well. It was a very good what? example of a cross-section. <laughs> um, you know, tell that to the Senate. Tell that to Georgia and Florida. Uh, but so, Jesse... Um, 40 seats is pretty good. This, yeah, 40 seats is a blue wave, but <laughs> yeah. go on. Well, okay. you know, it, 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 it was a blue wave in the small. sense that Pelosi can wave the majority goodbye yeah. Yeah. in two years when she overreaches. <laughs> did you... <laughs> time you've used that nice nice uh, you like it? that was good so, if you were wearing a blue shirt it would have been awesome <laughs> jesse are, are we going really to be able to avoid are we going to be able to avoid the demand that everybody in entertainment get political we got two more years coming up to 2020 do you think we're going to be able to avoid because you know they went after trump a little bit if i recall last year the C at the cmas i remember no. some did and they also went after the Clintons at one point. So right, there was have equal been some political like because, stuff. Because it was, they went after everyone, which was the point. It was an equal opportunity thing. And they, it was a, a, and they said it in a joking way. It was in the song. No. I, I so, uh, it is it is uh, it is politics. Even there, is this uh, something that's going to be a problem, or is, or is this going to be the new uh, the new standard for what we experience? I think here? year three in the first term of a presidency is when people just try to cool off. Because the first two years is chaotic and everyone's always ramped up. And then usually there's a situation in the midterms where one party does better. Mm -hmm. And then year four is all presidential race. So I think year three, everybody just needs to Chill relax, out. calm down, take a breath. We've gone at such a frenetic pace for these first two years. No one wants to see any music shows where people are talking about Trump, even though country music's pretty MAGA. No one wants to see it. I Some agree with it. Greg, and I agree with Dana. Democracy's working. Yeah. People are fine. Joy is the only one that's lighting her hair on fire. And she's just doing that for attention. When she brought the subject up, she said, I may be crazy here, but... <laughs> okay, I mean, she's you know, overreacting. She's overreacting. So do you agree? Do you think that we're going to be settling in here, or do you think that you agree with Joy that there needs to be more complaints? Well, I think people should feel free to speak up. And actually, country music artists have spoken up politically. It wasn't about Big Trump. Chicks, that's the only no, one. No, that's not, Greg. <laughs> After the shooting in Las Vegas, many of them, especially the ones who were performing, came out and, and tried to have a serious conversation yeah. about guns, even though that's not popular with a lot of their audience. There were, there were a lot but, of opinions about guns. There were a lot. No, that's what I'm saying. But they felt like that was an area and a time when they could have a discussion about policy. And I actually really appreciated the fact that country musicians, many of whom, that's what I listen to, that's my jam. Well, yeah. But that policy is different than guns. She wants them to go after well, Trump. I'm not that's talking her fixation. I'm not talking about joy right now. I'm talking about the fact that country music at times actually does weigh in, weigh sure. into politics or policy. And, and you know, I, I think that if entertainers want to speak up like Kanye or like Taylor Swift have about politics, they, that is their right to do so. Kanye's not really like, an entertainer. He's more of a creative genius. <laughs> right. It's just more than that. Just like, like Kavanaugh. I mean, oh my <laughs> God. All right, we've got to move on. The Fastest Seven is up next. Oh.